Lila Muhammad is unquestionably one of them. The Lila has accomplished what others have failed to do in a very short but influential and successful sporting career, and we couldn't be more proud. She will always be recognized for her iconic accomplishments throughout her professional career. And if you want to learn more about the legendary Dalila, be sure to watch this video all the way through. Dalila Muhammad, an American track and field athlete who specializes in the 400-meter hurdles, was born on February 7, 1990. Her professional accomplishments are just iconic enough to convey her extraordinary brilliance on the field. She won the gold medal in the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio and the silver at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Additionally, she also set a personal record that made her the second fastest woman ever in the race. Unfortunately, her challenges as a teen athlete are frequently overshadowed by her success today. Although Dalila has always had a passion for fields and athletes, this success did not come easily to her. She ran, won, fell, and got back up all owing to the unending support she received from her family. Dalila began running when she was four or five years old, thanks to her parents, Nadira and Askia Muhammad, and her accomplishments at such a young age made everyone believe just how incredibly gifted this young girl was. In fact, the NY Novus Track Club noticed Muhammad's long leaps when she was only four years old and expressed interest in her future. She joined the club when she was just seven, although her mother, who is known to be an ardent supporter of her daughter currently, was not totally convinced of her daughter's career choice at the time and even questioned the trainers about it. Her mother admitted to NY1 that she first opposed her daughter competing in the hurdles. My baby cannot be in these hurdles, I told the coach. She is going to hurt herself. But eventually, Muhammad's coaches were able to persuade her mother that she would excel at hurdles. And well, the rest is history. Dalila began training, winning multiple titles in high school and college. And it wasn't long before she got professional. Though she had a bright start, she had to confront a rather difficult patch in 2012. Dalila attended the University of Southern California and discovered in 2012 that her academic excellence could lead to a successful profession, and even though she maintained winning hurdles titles, she was utterly dissatisfied. Dalila was not a household name at the 2012 U.S. Olympic Trials. The more she gave it a thought, the more she realized that she didn't want to go on and that it was all over for her. I remember talking to my college coaches and just saying like, you know, I'm going to be done when I graduate after these Olympic trials in 2012, Dalila recalled. Everything else is history. She stayed, got knocked down a few times, got back up, and broke some records while winning gold, and it appears to be the best decision she's ever made. The years that followed were fantastic, but yet again in 2014 and 2015, she struggled a lot with her injuries and career. Fortunately, by 2016, and as Rio Olympics approached, things improved, and it was the beginning of the iconic Dalila Muhammad era, the 2016 Rio Olympics. After a very difficult battle with injuries, Dalila made her come back at the Summer Olympics in 2016 held in Rio. When Dalila Muhammad won the 400-meter hurdles Olympic gold medal at Rio 2016, her dominance was on full show. She wasn't the favorite to win a medal, so this was unique and, well, completely unexpected. Dalila completed her first Summer Games in just 53.13 seconds after battling ailments in 2013 to 2014, and it was all just unique. In fact, she won the 400-meter hurdles event at the 2016 United States Olympic Trials in just 52.88 seconds, which was the first time in three long years that she had been able to complete the distance in under 60 seconds. Later, she won the gold medal in the 2016 Summer Olympics, becoming the first American woman to ever do it in the 400-meter hurdles. Really, it's such an honor. Being the first is truly an honor and kind of crazy to me because America has produced so many excellent 400-meter hurdles. I'm extremely appreciative of it. Simply put, I'm overjoyed about it. When discussing being the first American woman to win, she cited, 
Also, this feat also established her as one of 14 Muslim women who won a medal in the Olympics. And needless to say, she was happy to represent her culture. As she commented, a Muslim is the one who only sees greatness as the ultimate goal and aspires to that. My medal represents that determination. The same determination I use in my daily life. In terms of Muslim women's advancement in sports, I expect to see many more. At the very least, I wish to debunk the stereotype of what a Muslim lady looks like. The iconic year, 2019. For Belila, 2019 was a whirlwind year in which she figuratively evolved into the icon she is today. Muhammad improved Yulia Pekinkina's 16-year-old record of 52.34 seconds, set in 2003 by breaking the 400-meter hurdles world record at the 2019 USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships in a time of 52.20 seconds. Muhammad became the first woman in 400 meters hurdles history, after Sally Go, to win the Olympic title and break the world record as a result of this. The IAF formally recognized Muhammad's time as the world record in September. She improved her mark by 0.04 seconds and set a new world record with a timing of 52.16 seconds later that year when she won the gold medal at the 2019 World Championships, referring to the saying she cited. It's something I've definitely been striving for. Continuing, at the moment, it was a little unexpected. I had to just refocus to get ready for those things since it was still sort of early in the season, still a month out from the World Championships and even before the Diamond League final. But there was no denying the magic that the moment created. Dalila's world record stood strong for two long years until her rival Sydney O'Clockland broke it in 2021 at the Olympic trials in just 51.90 seconds and well, Dalila was all proud and appreciative of her. The two even had a talk about the same thing despite being rivals. Later in 2019, she was even chosen for the Jackie Joyner Kersey Award at the conclusion of the season by the USA Track and Field Federation and by Track and Field News at its World Women's Athlete of the Year, with 24 of the publication's 36 members voting for her as their top pick, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The epidemic forced the 2020 Tokyo Olympics to be held in 2021, which saw the 21-year-old McLaughlin and the 31-year-old Muhammad engage in yet another dramatic world record-breaking duel. Even though the two icons were competing with one another, it was generally believed that one of them would trail the other. What was unexpected was that Dalila would do so this time. Nevertheless, she took home the second prize, and once again, it was historic. She recounted the event and said, I suppose the majority of my people, the ones surrounding me were saying, don't give up. She continues, I think with all athletes, on any level, skepticism is inevitable. However, when the objectives are achieved, the payoff is the satisfying glow of accomplishment. It's been a successful career on paper. There is then, unquestionably, some pleasure and contentment. Even though Dalila was not intended to win gold in the 2020 Olympics, she was still able to bring home a silver medal, so all was not horrible. The Olympics absolutely brings people together, and it also creates this healthy competition, people rooting for one another, says Dalila, whose love for the games is evident in all of her statements. And it is precisely what binds us together. How about setting more world records? It's a very real possibility. Dalila grinned and replied, Definitely. Any day, I'll take it. In the end, Dalila's never-say-die attitude is what counts the most. For the following seasons, we only wish her the very best so that she can continue to bring home a ton of medals and even break hundreds of records. With that, everyone, our video for today comes to a conclusion. We sincerely appreciate your support throughout the video. Please click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. For all information about our channel, enable the notification bells. Till then, be careful and we'll see you all soon.